GBPUSD this week has fallen again, so there is a selling pressure still pushing the price down. We can see that the previous week has ended here after the strong fall down after the price trying to make a retrace. We can see that the price has made a retrace on a Monday, but then drop it significantly. We can see that the price has broke below this support, small support, and also the lower part of this demand zone. I have entered into the trade around here when the price has closed the day on the daily time frame because I, see, I have seen that the price has dropped below this support price level, which means the support has been broken. And I have exited the trade here at the start of this demand zone. We can see the price has reached this price level on a Thursday. The price has dropped significantly. We can see that the price did not find any problems around this between this resistance and also this support. So the price stopped here on a Thursday and on a Friday had tried to make a retrace because all, all those sellers, one of them was me, has acted their trades, so this has triggered the price to make a reverse. On a Friday, price tried to reach again the price level on a higher price, but the price continued to move down. So we can see that the price has stopped right here where the confluence of support is. And also it is almost the start of this demand zone. If we go to the weekly time frame, we'll see how this looks. After the previous week has ended with this bearish pin bar, and also this engulfing, the prices continue to fall down, which I have mentioned in the previous week analysis that this could play like this. So everything has happened just as it was mentioned and also predicted. We can see that the price has started right here around where the very confluence of support is and this was visible on the daily time frame because it is confluence of support. Now let's go to the monthly time frame and see how this looks. After the month, the previous month has ended, I have expected the price will fall down around this price level and this has happened this month, but after the week has ended, I have mentioned that there is a possibility that the price could go down and reach this price level, which is 1.24. As it looks right now, the price is heading to that price level and if, we, if I make the analysis for the monthly time frame, I can see that the price will try to reach this price level and it is start of this demand zone at 1.23 price level. We will see on the weekly and also daily time frame how this looks and also what are possible scenarios because it is look right now this will be a great support on the monthly time frame and I'm expecting the price will reach it here in the following weeks and then bounce significantly at least at 1.243. Let's go and see on the upper side, the price needs to return back up above this price level 1.26 to return back inside the bullish mode and exit from this bearish mode. But for now, as it looks, there is no enough strength. So we will see how this looks on the weekly time frame. As it looks right now, the price is heading down. And there we, on the weekly time frame, the next support where the price could stop is 1.238 price level, but the lower part is 1.234, as it was visible on the monthly time frame. So this is very critical level, and also it is a great support on the monthly time frame. But what we can see here on the weekly, the next support is 1.22 price level, but in between we can see smaller support. This is not visible here, but it will be visible on the daily time frame. The price needs to return on the bullish side above this price level and also above this weekly resistance level of 1.26 to return back inside from the bearish mode. But for now, as it looks, we will have here a downtrend, a support price that will prevent from price from falling down. But there is also possibility that the first confluence of support on the weekly time frame will be around this price level 1.234. So for now, how, how it looks, I'm expecting that the price will continue to fall down. Let's see on the daily time frame how this looks. On the daily time frame, we can see that the price has reached this confluence of support. So this will be a very critical price level. But also I'm expecting that the price will reach the lower part of this demand zone, which is 1.24. The lower 1.233 price level is the support I am talking about. It's very strong support for the price. So we can see that the price in the past it had lots of problems breaking below this price level and also we can see that it was a strong support that has prevent uh, that has been a base ground for the price to move to the high price level we can see the price is returning back down let's stretch this one a little bit more okay 
this is it now we can see it is a very big confluence of support and if the price goes below that on the daily time frame closes below this demand this demand zone then it will mean that the price will move for sure for down so as it looks right now there is still a confluence of support here very strong and i need to wait to see how this this will end will this be broken on the daily time frame if yes then i'm expecting that the price will continue to fall down but always when the price was here the price has tried to return back up which was also on a friday but then when the price reaches this price level here the price can returns back up so i'm expecting that the price will continue to move down and from here it will bounce up and then we will see how this happens if you would like to see how i'm trading and also what are my, my entry idea and stop loss and take profit for the next week you can also join inside the trading community you will see what are my ideas and also you can share your ideas or your questions that is all from today analysis i hope you enjoyed if you have any question feel free to leave a comment if you like the analysis Click the like button and subscribe. See you next time and a happy trading.